In this video, I'm going to be taking you through the new auto mute feature of Session Wire Studio. Here we are in my Session Wire Studio. I get there by signing into studio.sessionwire.io and I click on the camera icon in the left hand menu. That brings me to my studio. I'm going to copy my invite link and I've sent it to my collaboration partner, Dan Smith, and he'll be joining us momentarily. All right, here comes Dan. And here we are. Dan is a guest in my studio. I've sent him my invite link. Now he gets all the features that I have access to in my studio. And now we see down here the new TalkBack settings interface. Very intuitive to use. We're going to set up this Pro Tools session really quick so that I can show you how this works. In this Pro Tools session, I have all of my audio routed to a mix bus. And at the end of this mix bus, I have the Session Wire Send plugin. This is the bridge from my DAW, doesn't matter which DAW it is, to Session Wire Studio. And in Session Wire Studio, I'm going to select the HQ Audio Source to be the Session Wire Send plugin. That's how I'm getting audio into this Session Wire Studio call. Now, if I play the audio right now, we're going to see signal in my stereo meters. We're also going to see signal in my talkback meter that I'm using to speak to everybody in the call. And that's not really a good thing if we're listening to audio through loud monitors. So let's see what happens when I hit play in Pro Tools. Now, as a listener or a participant in this call, I would hear the audio coming out of my DAW. I would hear the audio coming out of the DAW, the HQ audio, but I would also hear that audio feeding into the talkback microphones causing phasing or echo or cancellation. A number of issues can arise from that. So with the new talkback auto mute feature, we can engage it and we can set the talkback auto mute mute threshold with the orange slider and the unmute threshold with the green slider. So now I'm going to hit play in Pro Tools and we're going to mess around with these settings for a second and see what happens. So I'm going to drag the mute threshold all the way open and I'm going to drag the unmute threshold up. See now that the unmute threshold is too high. The microphones have opened up again. And we can see the music playing through my microphone again. So I'm going to drag the unmute threshold down again. I'm going to drag the mute threshold back down into where the signal is showing up in the meters. There we go. So the talkback auto mute is now triggered by signal in the HQ audio bus. So you can set the threshold to mute it as soon as the signal rises above a certain volume, and you can set a threshold for it to open after it drops to a certain threshold as well. If I wanted to override the auto mute while my audio is playing, I can hit play in Pro Tools, and I'll select the browser again. This is important. You need to have the browser in focus to do this select the browser and I can press T and it will temporarily unmute my microphone while I'm holding the T key. So now with the T key pressed, I can speak to everybody in the call. And when I let go of T, it mutes my microphone again. Similarly, anybody else in the call can also override the auto mute with their T key while my music's playing as well. And again, this talkback auto mute feature is triggered by the producer or the host audio only at the moment. So my signal going into the call will mute everybody's microphones. If somebody else streamed audio into the call, the auto mute would not function on that audio yet. Okay, back to where we are here. I'm gonna click the mute lock button. This will prevent anybody else in the call from overriding the auto mute with their T key. I will still be able to override it with mine. Let's take a look at that. We're gonna hit mute lock. I'm gonna hit play in Pro Tools. And if Dan were to hit T, nothing would happen. 
I've locked everybody out of overriding talkback, except for me, so I can press T and hold it and speak to everybody while my audio is playing. Release T, it mutes the audio again. If for some reason I wanted to mute everybody in the call regardless of what was going on, I can click the mute all button and it mutes everybody's talkback microphone except for mine. There we have it, the talkback auto mute feature. If you have questions, please reach out to us at support at sessionwire.com or check out our knowledge base, support.sessionwire.com. It's constantly being updated. We'll be posting lots of videos to YouTube over the coming weeks, new features to come. Please check them out. Looking forward to see what you get up to with Sessionwire.